Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? I'm back here with another PCCGO gameplay and commentary. Today, we're going to be playing Buzz Cargo. Um, so first, I want to give, as far as I know, credit for this deck goes to Mark Lutz. I'm actually not even sure what his original list looked like, but uh, uh, the idea came from Mark Lutz. And then uh, this is what I've come up with so far for it. Um, so this build is a no max elixir build. I've been playing, I played around with no max elixir and max elixir build. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real fast. Uh, Rangaroo, we don't have room for artillery. We also don't play Brooklyn Hill, so it's hard to find and get artillery out. So Rangaroo is going to be our draw card of choice here. Uh, one baby Buzzle, as we are heavy Buzzle GX focus, Diancy. Uh, and we use our fighting Pokemon damage. <clears throat> the 2 2 Macargo. Now, this is the main point of the deck. Um, so we can do a couple different things with this. We can put, um, so if you play the max elixir version, you can put basic energy on top so the max elixir is guaranteed to hit. This vision, version doesn't play the max elixir. Uh, I'm unsure which is best, but I'm going to be playing around with the B-string version, just B-string version today. The other version plays B-string as well. Um, but you can put whatever you want on top. You can draw to it the Rangaroo, Scorched Earth, Slave the different next turn, put it on top, draw to it with Sycamore. Um, it just adds a lot of... Uh, utility draw to the deck it's just very nice to be able to get pretty much anything you want at uh, many points throughout the game you generally set up a 1-1 throughout the game but you really want to set up a 1-1 sometimes you can get to the 2-2 setup um that's why we play a 2-2 to make sure to help increase our chances of getting the 1-1 setup uh one lele once we get the cargo and stuff online we don't really need lele anymore so just a one lele um Increase our odds of not dead drawing early through Ultra Ball, plus just having it in hand ourselves. For B String, that's our energy acceleration. That's once uh, B String turns on at some point throughout the game. Um, <clears throat> uh, and we can start taking those big knockouts with Knuckle Impacts. Um, so, yeah, we generally start off the games early with Buzzwell, follow up with Baby Buzzwell, then go back into Buzzwell GX's. Uh, two Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball for our Pokemon search. Uh, for this list in particular, you have a little bit more space. Uh, in the other list, I think I had one or zero Nest Ball with the Max Elixirs, but you get a little bit extra uh, early game, like just setup consistency. When you cut the Max Elixirs, you have more space. Uh, two Super Rod. I think I would always play two Super Rod. Um, it's basically just to keep getting energy back. You use Scorch Earth a lot. Um, you just you, have, you play a decent amount of energy, so you discard them a lot. Um, uh, for Ultra Ball, we already went over that. The draw supporter line is 2N, 2 Cynthia, 4 Sycamore. You you are a more aggressive deck, so you want to play a more aggressive supporter draw line. So we have the 4 Sycamore, 2 Cynthia, and then only 2N if we need them in the late game. Guzma, once again, we're aggressive, and we want to be able to close out games uh, how we choose. So we have 4 Guzma here. Um, either we can be aggressive early, or we can ignore stuff and then just pick off stuff around uh, something if we can't KO. You know, a Zork with a weakness policy can be annoying. Uh, big stuff like Elisapod, just Guzma around all that and just take KOs off the bench. Um, three choice ban, uh, help our damage numbers. Um, four, uh, three flow zone as well. We want to be able to have some mobility, a decent amount of mobility in the deck, uh, especially early on. We're trying to be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, 13 basic energy, one beast energy. So we play the 13 basic uh, combos with Scorched Earth is the big thing. That's like a, actually a big part of our draw engine overall is the four Scorched Earth. Um, I, I play four currently. I like being able to counter Parallel City almost immediately when it comes down. Just pop it back with Scorched Earth. Uh, this is another reason for the two Super Rod is the Scorched Earth uh, draw combo. That's why we play the heavy, uh, the thicker Super Rod line of two. Uh, only one Beast Energy. Initially, I had none, uh, but I ended up putting one in just to have a little bit of extra damage manipulation uh, for the numbers just in case I need it. So currently at one Beast Energy, but I can see going back down to zero in either 14th Basic or something else, whatever I might need. I could also see going um, up to a strong and a beast, having two special energy and then going down to 12 basic. But this is what I'm playing with for right now. I haven't fully like fleshed out the deck. This is just what I've been working with currently. Um, so let's go ahead and get this right, get into, into some this first game. I would like to go first. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Pretty good starting hand. Um, I think we should open with the buzz wall. We're not going to put the flow stun down immediately. We're not going to mention Slugma yet. It probably will come down though on this turn. We'll see. Okay, yeah, Slugma's gonna come down. Um, we'll put the Scorch Dirt down. Nest Ball, let's just take a look at what I have in here. So it's hard to jet punch with a one shot on that unless we find, there it is, the Beast Energy. I think we should probably just grab a Rangaroo here. Set up the, for the Macargo. I should have Nest Ball before I used Benches Slug much in case I prized the Macargo. Thankfully, I did not. So I think we'll go ahead and grab. Oh, my God. 
Excuse me. <laughs> the Orangaroo, uh, float the Macargo, and then we'll play Cynthia. Hold the choice band. Um, I, I assume this is probably a control Zork uh, with the opening of this guy here. Uh, we'll do a Scorched Earth. Get two not very good draws. They don't really do that much for me this turn. Uh, but our hand is actually pretty good. We can, uh, next turn, maybe bench double buzz, ultra ball away, double fighting, Macargo. Put something that we want on top. It's also depend on our top deck, too. Put the beast energy on top. Maybe we can KO this Orangaroo. Uh, I could put a Guzma on top. Or I could Ultra Ball for Lele for Guzma and then just go chase a Zerua. It definitely looks like it is Zorark uh, Control. There's the Diancy. I mean, the Lele, not the Diancy. I had Diancy on the mind. Uh, there's the Lele. Grabbing Bridget. Then Bridget, Zarua, Zarua, Slugma, or Zarua, 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 I assume. Zarua, Zarua, Slugma. Okay, so I really want to actually go KO the Zarua here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm probably going to go KO Zarua here, and then I'll punch the Slugma for 30. Attaching a second energy here, getting this thing ready to go. Uh, I could Ultra Ball for... Now there's a Field Blower, getting rid of both of my... Stadium and my tool. Maybe you should have left the flowstone in the deck. Well, now I can't do... Well, I can still do the Guzma play. Becomes a little bit less good. Um, How do I even want to do the Guzma play now? Let's see. Okay, and Azura sounds pretty good here. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to still go for it. I'm gonna go one attack for Guzma and then instruct for two. I'll play down the choice band. Yeah. Put the choice band here so if he goes to the use the GX next turn. <clears throat> Get that extra damage in there. Gargo. That's cool. We'll hold the Diancy. Um, I definitely want to be able to bench it. So if we parallel cities in the next round, I definitely want to be able to put the Diancy down. So I think I'm just going to put a Scorched Earth on top here. Um, and then next turn, we can get whatever else we want with Smooth Over plus Instruct. Um, but I do want to be able to put the Diancy down next turn. Punch the Slugma for 30. Because um, if we jet punch three times, then we can actually KO the Slugma. Whereas it's a little bit harder to get the KOs on the other stuff. Should we just see a Lele here from him then? Excuse me. Yep, there's Lele. Most likely for Sycamore. Maybe N, but I doubt it. Yeah, probably just see a Sycamore out of a, out of him here. There it is. And we'll see what that last card in the deck was. DCE. That's fine with me. We're just going to Jet Punch <clears throat> again. Um, see if this if he plays the weakest policy or not. Um, whether he does or doesn't, it's not uh, too bad for us either way. No weakness policy is fine with me. Weakness policy is fine with me. I think we're still favored no matter what. I actually might just go chase this Arua and then put the 30 on the Slugma. And not really worry about the Zorak just yet. I'm not too concerned with it. Um, I don't think we have to be yet. I'd rather cut off another trade than, uh... Than anything, I think. But we'll see what uh, what he ends up doing. We can also just punch this Zorark, so then he can't put a. But if he hits us, he can put a Mew EX in play. Um. Oh, yeah. There's the weakest. Oh, weakness policy is the rule. I actually, I think that's a pretty good play there. So now we're just gonna punch the active, and then thirty on the uh Slugma double puzzle. Probably parallel city a oh puzzle top three. Not sure why he does that. You're gonna be able to trade into those anyways. There's a rice beating. Yeah, I actually like that. The weakness policy on there is actually pretty annoying. Um, I could go KO the Slugma here, actually. That would be pretty good for us. Um, I think I will actually go KO the Slugma. Um, so this comes down. This comes down. Struct for one. 
smooth over Buzzma on top, and then we'll Scorched Earth into that, I guess. The baby buzz will out. That's pretty good. Or take out this one, jet punch this Sarua here. <clears throat> Could maybe jet punch the Rangaroo, but we can kind of KO two GXs, I think, to close out the rest of this game. We almost want him to take a knockout here, so we can actually start using Beast Rings and stuff. Beast Rings, Sledgehammer, all that fun stuff. Um, so I really would not mind if he uh, actually took a knockout here on uh, this Buzzwool or whatever, really. I would actually be content with that. Uh, I see a Cynthia. Could see Mew EX knock us out. Then we have the response of Sledgehammer. And then ideally, we would be string here. Ooh. Maybe B string here attached here is actually better. There's the Mew. About what I expected. Um, we will be able to sledgehammer knock this out, but then we have to figure out how we're going to draw our other prizes. That's going to be the tough part, I think. Don't have room for two Buzz GXs. It depends on our top deck, actually. We can make room for two Buzz GXs here, actually. Maybe that's what I will do: is try and set up two Buzz GXs over this baby Buzz Wool. Because um, because because this one is damaged, it makes that a little bit awkward. My bench space is currently a little awkward. Everything's a little awkward. Yeah, having to put down the Lele and the Diancy, or having put down the Lele and Diancy makes this a little bit awkward. Uh, for me, um, well, we're gonna have to go like this then, I think. Yeah, I have to go like this. Three beast ring left. Attach them here. Smooth over a Sycamore. Or I could end him. No, we just need a Sycamore here. Maybe end on the next turn. All we need is an energy attachment here. A beast ring is ideal, but I'm not like super concerned with that. Sycamore. Just need at least an energy attachment here. There we go. Got the energy attachment. Got the beast ring even better. Um string. Hold this because of the high. Um, what's it called count? Get three energy on each of them. High enhanced hammer count is what I was wanted to say. And then we'll sledgehammer for the knockout. We have two Pokemon set up that can kind of just KO Zoroarks. Uh, the problem here actually is we don't have a Guzma in hand. We're actually down to Guzma. I think there's one more in deck and I think there's one prized. But we have no, to get a, no way to get a Guzma uh, currently. Uh, so hopefully we get end. I imagine I will get end here actually. Um, I'm sure they're going to look for N, counter catcher KO this with the weakness policy one, and then we just need to find Guzma KO this Zorark. I should one heads. To close this one out. Yeah, putting down the Lele actually kind of is... kind of feels bad. I could have gone for find Buzzwool plus B-String on my turn, I guess. That would have been terrible to try and just find Buzzwool GX plus B-String. And I would have found it too. I don't think I got the Nest Ball off the prize. I think I had Nest Ball in hand. Actually, I maybe did get the Nest Ball off the prize, so I actually would have whiffed it. Um, and we still have four Sycamore in deck, because we used a lot of Guzmas early on. We weren't able to really fully just utilize our other stuff, unfortunately. <clears throat> yeah, so I think ideally for them, we're going to... They, they for them, they're going to want to see... Uh, second of Weeks Ballsy. Countercatcher this, and end me. Um, but we'll see what they actually go with. Um... Oh, they're going to go Guzma knockout. All right, that kind of sucks for me because my hand doesn't have a Guzma in it. This this play actually kind of sucks for me. Um, and I actually don't have a good response here. I think I might end up losing this one because of this play here. Um, um, ideally, I would just have a Guzma in this hand. We can still top deck it. but uh, And I can actually Scorched Earth into it. Um, okay, we can Ultra Ball. We can actually get down pretty low. We can maybe get down low enough. No, not quite. Let's nest ball and take a look. If not, we can use N. We end up. We'll plan to use N. At the end of our turn. I don't really want to grab this Buzzwool, but it does stand up by one card. So I have one Guzma in here, one Ultra Ball, which is another thing I can play down. Um, so ideally, I would draw the Ultra Ball or the Guzma. How likely is it for them to be able to KO my Buzzwool GX? Not super likely off an end to two. We're gonna take the Buzzwool. 
Um, we're going to Ultra Ball. Or can we just Scorched Earth first? We can't get anything with the Ultra Ball. Oh, I guess I got to Ultra Ball the Buzzle into my hand instead of Death Balling for it. That would have been a little bit better, actually. If I Ultra Ball these and attach, I still have three cards in hand, so I can't smooth over Instruct. So we have to do this anyways. See what we get. Uh, still not good enough. Ultra Ball. Get rid of these two. Take nothing. Probably hold the energy, I think. And then just play N and then swing around. Yeah, it doesn't feel great, but I don't think we really have another play here. Um, Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Go for the end play. We have access to smooth over. We have another choice band left, right? So I think we are going to attach this choice band to try and get that extra damage. Uh, now we go into the smooth over. We want to be able to take the knockout next turn um, on something. But goose on top in case we have to chase this. Maybe I should put an energy on top, actually. Got the goose next turn. Choice band, the next choice band, and then we swing around. Yeah, I think maybe I should play like one field blower in here for weakness policies, because um, <clears throat> this gets kind of annoying when they play when they when they have like a lot of weakness policy and I'm not able to set up the one shot. Um, also, baby buzzle can get, get pretty awkward too in this deck. Like using as a response to Mew is very nice, but I'd almost sometimes rather just go into another buzzle GX. Um, so that can actually get a little bit awkward. <clears throat> Parallel city. Oh man, well I think it has to be. Get to 90 anyways. Yeah, I think it has to be Leylight Ancy here. <clears throat> Definitely, I think I need to keep the draw squad of Macargo Orangaroo going. I don't think I can give up on those guys just yet. I think I need to keep them around uh, a little bit longer. Make sure I can keep drawing cards. I'm actually curious to see how this game is going to go. See what supporter he goes for. Mallow. Okay. So nothing is getting knocked out this turn. No, he can knock out my active. So he needs like Max Potion DCE Reverse Valley. And then I might just be screwed, actually. If he gets Max Potion DCE Reverse Valley, I might just be screwed. Um, we'll see, though. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, Max Potion, DCE, Reverse Valley, or uh, the Valor Field, whatever. Either one of those works. Um, puts me in a rough spot. If they don't have that, though, they don't knock out this Buzzwool, I think I'm going to be good. Um, all comes down to that, though. Let's see, 160. All right. All right, there's the Mallow setup. We'll see the trade, and we'll actually see what this is. Max Potion. ECE. No Reverse Valley. Okay. That works for me. I think I'm just going to go with a Cynthia here. Try and find some basic energy for this Buzzwool. I don't want to put down this. Ah, uh, not gonna find any basic energy. Super Rod. We're gonna get Lele and two basic energy. I really do not want to attach the Beast. How many? Uh, how many enhanced hammers has this guy been through? Two. A lot of puzzle left. I really don't want to attach the Beast energy. I think we're just gonna hit it with the swing around. Oh, I guess it's smooth over something on top of the deck. Um. Put the Guzma on top, I think, so I can chase this uh, Zorark, potentially. And then swing around. Two heads would be very nice here, actually. Take one, though. <clears throat> Only 130, though? Oh, so actually, even if I get the Guzma chase, I can't KO this immediately. Uh, this is going to be this is gonna be a close one, actually, I think. Missing the basic energy wasn't that big of a deal. Um, I can kind of live with missing basic energy there. It's not a huge deal. Missing, um, oh, that's fine. Losing the Diancie is kind of rough. Maybe I should have got rid of the Macargo and just kept the Orangaroo. 
I don't know, actually. <clears throat> That's pretty close. I mean, it all comes down to whatever he draws here off these trades uh, in particular. Uh, he needs a DCE, retreat, DCE, attack. Um, I don't really have a follow up to that. It looks like it's just going to be an end to two after double trade, so that's pretty good for us. If he doesn't draw a DCE off the end to two, if this thing is stuck active, that's pretty good for us. We can get the Beast Energy Choice Band knockout. So we'll send up the Macargo, draw for the turn. Definitely don't want to super rot anything back into the deck. I think we can go with the. Uh, how likely is it we'll be able to smooth over on the other side of this? Not super likely, but potentially. I think I'm going to Sycamore first. There's the potential for it to happen. Okay, we got it. So we got Choice Band, Beast Energy, and then we're going to be able to close this one out just barely at the end. Plus, I miscounted. Jet Punch should take the knockout here. We'll put 30 on the Orang rule. Why not? To knock out that Zark and take that one. So that was pretty close. Yeah, I definitely think I need a field blower in here. Um, it's so easily searchable out with the Macargo Oranguru too that you know, you're gonna find it. Um, so I definitely think there should be a field blower in here. That's something. That's a card I'm gonna need to have to. I'm going to add. <clears throat> Not sure what I cut for it, but yeah, I'll add that for sure eventually. Um, but yeah, we take that one. Uh, it was pretty closely. That was a pretty close game here. We're going second on this one, but we have a pretty good starting hand. Um, I'm not gonna bench the Diancy. Um, because bench space is can be uh, very hard to work with in this deck. You need to have a lot of stuff down. Um, you don't always need Diancy. So I'm going to hold off on benching Diancy here. We're playing against a Garchomp deck. Um, so I'm not actually sure how this one's going to go. I imagine it's going to be probably favored for us, but we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt, see if he can't pull something off. <clears throat> Riola, 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 Gibble, Gibble. Got the whole squad out. And a Brooklyn Hill. We'll probably utilize that Brooklyn Hill. Um, all right, I mean, this could be tough. Uh, it's been a long time since I played against a Garchomp deck. Oh, man. All right. Draw. Argo's pretty good to have. Brooklyn Hill. Baby Buzzle is prized, so we'll just take a big buzz. Uh, don't have a great hand, so I think we are going to go with the Scorched Earth to draw two. I'd ideally, uh, I'd ideally attack with, attack with a basic energy here. But uh, if we have to use the beast, we have to use the beast. I'm um, still not going to bench either of these just because I don't have to yet. Um, and we're going to go ahead and hit it with that jet punch. Probably, yeah, pressure or gibble here. Uh, it would be very nice to find baby Buzzwell here. Oh. Really nice to get uh, some uh, use out of the baby Buzzwell for sure, actually. <clears throat> Should we chill him for these first couple turns jet punching, though? Um, I guess I'm kind of scared of a candy guard chomp coming down early. Uh, the first attack isn't too threatening, and he whiffs the turn one energy attachment, which is a big deal for us. Um, avoiding that. We should kind of try and run him out of guard chomps, I think. I could have, like, gone for the Guzma KO Riolu. Um, I don't hate the idea of having gone for that. Um, and then we could, like, pressure the other Riolu with the punch. Uh, but then if that one just evolves to a Lucario, I feel like that was kind of... Would have been kind of like a waste. Oh man, what a hand. Got the Candy Garchomp and the Lucario. And one thing we don't have here that we really want is actually the Baby Buzzwool. Um, Because it can deal so well. It's like such a nice thing to like stop going in with Buzzle GX and just use Baby Buzzwool for a turn to deal with the Garchomp. Um, we don't have that as an option though. Um, <clears throat> probably he's going to go for a Cynthia. Draw Supporter. Um, I'm hoping this Gibble just stays a small Gibble, and I'm eventually be able to draw some kind of draw supporter so I can actually... Uh, well, I have the Macargo, so I'll be able to put a, a Sycamore. To, I'd like to draw like a Sycamore next turn, or even like a Cynthia would be fine. Lele for Cynthia would be pretty good, too. <clears throat> um, I would be fine with that. Um, I'm just hoping this Gibble stays a Gibble. Uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, hopefully we don't see it turn into a Rare Candy Garchomp this turn. Um... That would be very unfortunate. Um, so he's running some Fighting Gibbles, and then some non-Fighting Gibbles. So if I can get the double KO on the Gibbles, actually, that would be very nice as well. Um, what do I need? I need a Floatstone here. I could get Ultra Ball for a Rangaroo. I have a couple of ways to do it. I could drop like a Fighting Energy, and then I could just Kuzma KO that one. He's just going to send up this one. I like that play. It's fine. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, so we dropped like an N. 
not an ideal top tech, and we're not going to be able to KO this Gibble like I wanted. Uh, Brooklyn Hill. We'll get out another Buzzwell GX. Also, a Rangaroo is priced, too, I think. Um, the Ancy is actually just not necessary in this matchup, so I'm not going to throw that down. I'm not going to throw this down, either. We're going to counter his Brooklyn Hill again. Nothing to Super Rod, really. I'm just going to hit him with the N. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four, five, six. Could set up another Macargo. I don't hate that. I think that's probably just the way to go. Um, and then we need to just be able to set these up once the time comes. So I think we just go smooth over, put a beast ring on top. Um, if he does get this knockout next turn, which he probably will be able to knock this out next turn, and then we can just go into the Buzzle GXs. Um, and then hopefully just run. I think we have to run him out of Garchomps to really take this game. I think that's how, how it's going to go. There's the baby Buzzle. I don't know if that changes anything. I don't think so. I guess I could have punched 30 here. Um, in the hopes to get the baby buzzle and then respond to this with that. So actually, that might have been the play there, actually, would be to uh, have gotten the... Uh, or planned to, to maybe draw the baby buzzle out of the prize and sort of put the 30 here. Uh, but this means I can always just snipe this Gibble and it forces him to kind of evolve at this turn as well. Um, but I actually think punching here for 30 was probably the better play, uh, knowing that I could get the baby buzzle out of the prizes and then utilize it. Um, so I kind of like that play a little bit better, actually. Should for sure see my Buzzle Jack get knocked out. Yeah, there's the candy guard chomp, uh, like I assumed would happen. Um, and we're going to see Royal Blade Cynthia into the Royal Blades for the knockout, um, at which point we can go Beast Ring, Beast Ring, set up two Buzzle GXs. Um, this, even with Diancy, won't be able to knock this out, so we're not even going to try and set that up. We might bench the baby Buzzle still. I think we'll actually sick him more, the Diancy away, because um, <clears throat> I don't really need it. Um, I can kind of live without it for sure. I don't really need the uh, the Diancy. Um, Stretcher, sure. Are you right? Oh. Excuse me, using my own scorched earth. Um, and actually, one of the things that he will run into a problem with is that once we KO this, he's going to run out of energy. He doesn't have another backup energy because with that terminal energy attachment, which is actually a big deal for Garchomp. Royal Blades. Yeah. And then we're going to go baby, uh, send up Buzzwool. I guess maybe we will bench. I don't know if I want to bench the Diancy. I don't think I am, actually. Yeah, then we go baby Buzzwool. And then we're going to go Beast Ring to both Buzzwool GXs. Put a fighting energy on top just to make sure I hit it. Um... don't think I need... They're doing one, we do 160. Yeah, and then we're going to put a fighting energy on top. I don't think I need to bench the Diancy. I'm kind of torn on that right now, on whether or not I want to bench the Diancy. <clears throat> Hit him with the Sycamore. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. Plenty of energy. I'm going to go ahead and commit these choice bands because they're pretty useless in the matchup. And these things are going to be attacking so they don't need float stones. And then we're going to hit him with the Absorption for the knockout. There we go. One more prize. I, I want to take two, but it is a guard shot. We're only getting one. Uh, yes, and I leave the bench base open, so like I could have benched Lele, another Buzzle GX if I got another Beast Ring and so on. I didn't need to... Um, <clears throat> I didn't I didn't need the Diancy, so there's no reason for me to clog up my bench space. Okay, there's a counter catcher on my Macargo, but we have a Goose Monster to be able to get out of that. We're just going to chase whatever he puts energy on. Because um, if he never gets two energy on a Garchomp, he can't actually one-shot a Buzzwool. Uh, and that's all we're really looking for. Uh, if he can't watch out Buzzwolves, we should win this game. Easy peasy. So we'll probably go attach here. Guzma, I assume he'll attach the Garchomp. He'll attach to one of the Garchomps. Well, Guzma, whatever Garchomp he attaches to. And then we'll just put another Guzma on top with the smooth over. Um, so that way, if he goes counter catcher again. Um, or if he doesn't even knock out our active. I mean, he probably won't be able to knock out our active. Then we can just go Guzma again. Um, to get another knockout because our, our ugh, having attacked with knuckle impact, we won't be able to knuckle impact with that one again. Um, there's the attachment. He maybe will end us. Actually, if he end us here, that would probably be his best play. Um, disrupts my hand. I don't have the yeah. So we we're going with a Cynthia. I definitely would like. I definitely think he should have ended there though for sure. Um, disrupt my hand. Uh, make it hard for me to. Um... <sighs> Potentially knock out his Garchomp. Um, actually, I don't. I mean, maybe he doesn't play in. I guess that's also a possibility. Um, it's possible he doesn't play in.
<clears throat> Waiting. There's the aura. Oh, he's got two now, right? That's right. Any two cards. That's pretty good. If it's, I mean, Garchomp is pretty like. You have a lot of access here deck once you set up. The problem with Garchomp is that the energy cost is really high on the Garchomp, and then it can just get one shot. Like, I'm about to go KO this, and then he's not even going to be able to one-shot my Buzz for uh, two more turns. Um, I haven't seen the other Garchomp from him, the one that accelerates energy, so who knows if he even, if he even plays that one. Special charge, sure. Just one DCE. Interesting to go for that. All right. Uh, attach here, and then, like I said, I'm just going to Guzma this Garchomp, because if we take out this one Garchomp with the one energy... He won't be able to do anything uh, really at all. Put a Guzma on top. I'm not going to put down the Float Stone yet. I'm just going to Knuckle Impact. And there we go. He concedes. Um, so that's why Garchomp is not quite a uh, competitive deck. It can be fun, but it's not really up there as far as a competitive deck goes. Um, it just takes too long to, cut, to set up multiple Garchomps in a row. Well, we took that one pretty easily, pretty straightforward. All right, get him back um, into another, another game. Uh, not a great start. We definitely had better starts before. Um, let's just enjoy roll. We can work with this. Um, not sure what we're playing against. Let's see. Ooh, Malamar deck. That's going to be tough. Well, let's start with an S ball. Get the Buzz Wool. We still have another Macargo in the deck. All right, so we're going to go Buzz Wool. Boat Active. Ultra Ball. Those two. Get the Lele. <clears throat> Oh, it's, uh, nest ball. Uh, get the slugma, I think. It takes longer to set up that than the other guy. Here. And the Lele, and we'll get the sycamore. Just draw some cards. Cargo for next turn. Scorched Earth. I don't see a reason not to Scorched Earth right now, actually. Alright. Retreat. So we don't get field blowered. And then pass. All right, so we're looking good so far. We got two Guzmas in hand, so we could just go early Guzma, chase Inkays. Um, treasure. It looks like he's going to go with that early Hypnosis. That is always a little annoying, but it's not a huge deal. We'll be able to get around it. There's another NK. And we'll see if he's actually just dead drawing. I doubt it. If he had that, he probably would have got a uh, Lele if he actually didn't have a supporter in hand. Um... Oh, wow. Okay. So maybe I should have held the Scorchers. I didn't really expect the Parallel to come down like that. <clears throat> and the Blower. Man, this man's got everything in hand. Maybe could have held the Scorch. I don't know. I didn't see a reason not to dig for two cards. We have a lot more Scorchers. Hopefully, we'll be able to counter this uh, pretty soon. We don't have to do it next turn, but as soon as possible is definitely uh, best. And it's Hypnosis. Hopefully, we just wake up. If we don't, we can do the Guzma play. All right. We don't have to do the Guzma play. That's great. Uh, there's the Scorched Earth, so we can go Macargo. Scorched Earth. We're going to lose a lot of Guzma here if we actually go through with this, so we could go with Smooth Over or a Cynthia. I don't really want to lose all those Goos. Scorched Earth. Draw two. Attach active. Float the Macargo and then play the Cynthia. All right, I like this a lot better. The straw is not much better, though. Then we'll go with Jet Punch, and I think we're going to punch the NK. Yeah, we're going to go with punching the NK here. <clears throat> Pressure that. We could also, now we can, if it goes to a Malamar, we can Guzma knock it out. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go, so just punch the NK here. It's unlikely he sets up the Dawn Wings next turn, although possible. Um, and if he GX us, that would actually be very annoying. Uh, but we could work through it for sure. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, do need to try and find some Buzzle GXs. There's a Mars Shadow. Not super scared of the Mars Shadow. So he needs, if he sets it, if he wants to set it up this turn, he needs Max Elixir and a Malamar and the Max Elixir to hit. Um, so not, once again, <clears throat> not super unlikely that he whiffs here. <clears throat> That's a little annoying. Once again, should be able to work through that though. I would have liked the Flosso to stick, because I would actually like to set up Lele to attack in this situation. Um, but it looks like we're going to have to go... Alright, so we're going to get the Jet Punch here for the knockout. Alright, that's a pretty good top deck as well. Uh, we could get the Flosso actually with the Scorcher plus this. Uh, we could actually bring up the Necrozma. 
So he can't... Oh, we could just KO the Necrozma this turn, actually. We could just bring it up so he couldn't Max Elixir to it, too. Bring it up, Jet Punch it. Knock out this. Attach to Lele. So we could go... Put this in play. Smooth over a Float Stone. The last one is in there. That's great. Um, Yeah. Scorched Earth. This. Guzma this. And I'm just going to Jet Punch it this turn. Attach here. Bench a Rangaroo. I'm not going to bench Diancie yet. Because bench space is an issue. And yeah, so we're able to be, we're this game we're able to be just aggressive about KOing and Inkes, and I think that might be enough for us to actually take this one. Um, we'll see what he's got going on next turn, but he doesn't have a whole ton going on this turn, so I think this might be a pretty fast one. Uh, just we're able to chase the Inkes early on, because we found the Beast Energy immediately like we did. Um, hopefully this is awkward enough. I mean, now he can get Float Stone Max Elixir. Uh, oh, I wanted to attach a Lele there, not the not the Buzzwall. Oops, that was a mistake. I even went through that, right? I was like, okay, I'm going to attach a Lele, set up Lele to be able to hit if I want to. Um... Yeah, I messed that up there. Um, it shouldn't be a huge issue. I can still send a Blade next turn and attach to it, which I think I probably would do. Um, and then we need to play for a big Beast Ring turn on the following turn. We'll see how this one goes. There's an Inke. There's a Max Elixir, probably to the Marshmallow. Ooh, it's a whiff. So he whiffed the Floatstone here as well, then, for sure. <clears throat> and with our current hand, we can actually go get it. Oh, if as long as he doesn't Field Blower our Float again, we can Guzma knock this out and then look to just KO the Marsh Shadow or now the Necrozma GX to close out the game. Um, I assume he won't leave this active, but maybe he's going to. If he leaves this active, that's great for us. Um, if he moves it. It's not a, it's not a, once again, not a huge deal for us, actually. Oh, he's going to leave it active. All right. Um, so we're in a Choice Band here, so this could KO the Marshmallow next turn. Um, so we can kill the marshmallow. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna choice ban this. Attach active. I ideally want to get another Buzz GX in play, but um, I don't know. I don't have to get another Buzz GX in play this turn. Just kind of ideal though, right? So we could do something like smooth over a sycamore. I don't think I need Diancy anymore to be able to close this one out. And then we can do that. We'll get the sycamore plus something. Well, now we have Cynthia, so we might go with Cynthia. So we could go like this. I could have got a Cynthia anyway and kept the Diancy because I could have got that extra card. Yeah, I think there's no reason for us not to just keep the Diancy around. So I messed up there a little bit. Uh, we'll instruct for one as well. Ideally, you know, I don't actually, I don't even know what we'd ideally get there. Maybe I should have held the Instruct. But I doubt we'll be able to use Instruct on the other side of this. Yeah, no way we're going to use an Instruct with this hand. Holy moly, this hand is bad. We'll be able to get out of it, though, with uh, Smooth Over Instruct next turn. Still have four Beast Ring in the deck. Um, and then we're just going to go with Absorption here for the knockout. We have a ton of ways to kind of just close this one out here. There's another Guzma. There's a Beast Ring. Um, yeah, this one's definitely going to be hard. I think it's going to be a hard game for us to lose here. Um, I don't even know what we have to see. Choice Band, and then Marsh Shadow copy, Moonlight, Moon's Eclipse, get another one of the Dawn Wings down, and then Moon's Eclipse. <clears throat> There's definitely ways we can lose, um, but it's looking very good as for us as of right now. There's an end to start things off. Yeah, I've been liking the Beast. I was initially playing no Beast Energy, but now that I've actually played around with it, I like it. It almost makes you want to put Strongs back in the deck, but the Scorched Earth, the power, the draw power through Scorched Earth, I feel like is too important. Um, I think the only thing I would change, um, I'm always changing decks. I play a couple games of the deck, and I always feel like I want to keep changing them. Um, I'd probably cut, so there's four Scorched Earth in here now. I think I'd go to three, and then I'd add a Field Blower. And then the only other change I think I would consider would be trying to find room for a Pal Pad, but I'm not sure what I would cut for a Pal Pad. Um, but I would say, you know, I went over the list at the beginning of this video, cut a Scorched Earth, put a Field Blower in. Um, and go with that Go with that for there. All right, so now he's trying to set up the Dawn Wings, but he would need attach Malamar Max Elixir. So not too, once again, not too ridiculous for him to have for him to hit that. But then we have the, uh, currently, yeah, and there we go. Close that one out. So yeah, we're able to chase down the NKs early on. Generally, I think that is probably a bad matchup. Um, should be most of the time. Maybe it's not as bad as I, I think. 
Um, yeah, we, have, we got the beat. We found the beast energy immediately, so that allows to uh, KO Inkes and then uh, chase the chase the Dawn Wings before he could actually utilize it. And uh, the Malamar deck can be a little clunky when they don't have Inkes in play. So yeah, able to take that one pretty cleanly. Uh, and that's gonna do it for this video with Buzz Cargo. I'll probably do another video with Buzz Cargo with the Max Elixir version, so I can kind of show you guys both versions. Um, I kind of I, I like this version though. Uh, the Macargo makes a little. Is a, you can utilize the Macargo a little bit better in the Max Elixir version because you can put basic energy on top and then get draw into it or for sure guarantee the Max Elixir. Um, I didn't utilize that a ton when I played the deck, but it's definitely uh, another way to utilize the Macargo with the Buzzle when you play the Max Elixir. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like. If you enjoy the content, subscribe. Um, constructive cr Criticism. Or decks that you want to see me play on the channel, put that in the description below. I'll probably get down around to most of the decks eventually. But if there's a specific deck you want to see me play, I can't guarantee I'll get to it. But I'm more likely to play it, play the deck that you want to see played if you leave a comment with the deck in the comment section down below. Um, as always, links and the deck list. I put I put the deck list in the description as well, and I'll keep I'll be doing that for all these videos. Um, for you to just copy paste over into PC, PTCGO if you want. So the deck list is down there in the description. Links to my Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. If you want to check it out in the, in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day and peace.